and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going through a few redstone circuits that I use often. So these are redstone circuits that I use often. This is not all the redstone circuits, but this is the ones which I use the most. So I'm going to show you how to build them, how to use them, and just anything like that. So first of all, this is a redstone clock. So this is a one using six repeaters. It's quite an easy one to build, quite a cheap one to build as well. This is a hopper. As you can see there's an item inside here, it goes back and forward, back and forward. And it sends an output through this um, comparator. This is a comparator clock. Now this one's qu quite useful, it's probably the one of, it used to be the fastest clocks until this one came out. This one's very fast, this one's also another one can toggle it, turn it off and back on, it's very useful, this one you can't really turn off and back on. You can probably move them using a piston but that one's probably the easiest to build. This is a another clock, as you can see it's really fast, sometimes it turns off automatically but sometimes it can be left like that. Now this is a pulse extender, you press the button like this and it lasts a certain amount of time. You can add repeaters to make it last longer. As you can see it, it uses comparators so the pulse goes lower and lower. Like that. Now this is a so this is a mono a monostable circuit I use these now and then, yeah. This is what it does, it sends a short pulse through that block, like that. You can use it like this, so the sticky piston can let go of the block, and then and then it will pull back the block. Now, this, is very use this is very useful for building different types of redstone circuits, mainly piston doors and stuff like that. This is a silent one, so if you want to build like a silent one, if you don't want people to hear it, as you can see, it, it uses the repeated locking method, it's very useful. This is a double piston extender, really simple. Really simple double piston extender, very old school build. It's probably one of the first of its kind. This is another double piston the extender, but this time it goes up. It's a bit more complicated, but it's still fairly simple. So you need to have two repeaters here, one on three, and one, on one just a normal repeater like that. You need to have a redstone torch here that will turn off when you press the button, meaning it will turn turn off this monostable circuit. Then it leads into this two ticks. Then this bit of redstone here that powers the piston here. So when you press the button, this piston extender will extend. Now this is a triple piston extender very compact build. It's pretty much the same as that except it's, it uses it uses three different pistons. This can be used in different types of piston doors. Really simple. It uses dropper. So when you press the button, dropper, dropper will activate this which sends two pulses then also when you press the button it goes into here which then that observer observes that and places a pulse there and that's an extra pulse and then it goes across here and you get a few pulses through there so I destroyed the button that's really annoying it sends two pulses through that lamp and only one through there because of the how the weight observers work. Now this this is a T flip flop 
And I'll show you how it works. I use a mono mono stable circuit as well. It uses mono stable circuit here that makes the block let go and pull back. So how it works, you press the button once, it turns that off, press it again, it turns it on, so it's a toggler. This is just a comparator, this is just useful for comparator, I use these in use these in locking doors, so making locks for doors. Quite useful. And I also use this in locking doors too, so you can hook this up to that. And use it as a door locking mechanism. You can also hook it up to a red coder, so turn this into a red coder. It uses similar sort of mechanics and have two separate red coders and have them hooked up to this. So you can make a opening for a door. So how this works is you need both of these you need at least one of these torches to be on for that torch to turn off. If both of them are off, then that redstone signals inputted. If they're both on, nothing happens here. If they're both off, there'll be something here. If only one of them's on, nothing will happen here. I hope that makes sense, but it should do. Now this, this is a bud switch. So this is using block updating. So when I move a block here, it sends a one tick pulse all the way to that block. When I move it back, another one tick pulse. Very useful mechanic. I use it quite a few times. Very simple. Very easy. They can be used in just. They, they can be used in mono stable circuits. They're quite s similar to them. But they're very good. And all that. Now with these, you can use them as monostable circuits if you want, but they're quite similar to monostable circuits anyway. But monostable circuits use up less items, so I so the monostable circuit I've used over there would be better than this. But this can be used in other different types of circuits. And yep. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, remember to subscribe and leave a like if, if you found this video interesting. And I hope you enjoyed this video from the channel. Thank you.